graph the following rational function by finding the horizontal and vertical asymptotes and the x and y intercepts. The first thing I'm going to do is find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of this function, h of x equals x plus 2 over x minus 1. In order to find the vertical asymptote of a rational function, we need to look at the denominator and set it equal to 0 and solve for x. And when you do this, we'll find out that the vertical asymptote is x equals 1. And that's our vertical asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is found by comparing the degrees of the numerator and denominator. So the degree of the numerator is 1. The degree of the denominator is also 1. So since these degrees are the same, we call this a balanced rational function. And since it's balanced rational function, we need to take the co the uh, ratio of the leading coefficients. In this case, they are both 1. So we will have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 1 over 1 is 1. So there's our horizontal asymptote. <clears throat> In order to find the x-intercept, we set the top equal to 0 and solve for x. So we have the numerator x plus 2 equals 0 and when you solve this for x you get x equals negative 2. And since we are finding an x-intercept this coordinate pair will be negative 2 0. In order to find our y-intercept we will simply find h of 0. Or another way to think about it is to substitute 0 in for x and simplify everything else down to see what we get for our y-intercept. And in this case, when we substitute 0 in for x, we get 2 over negative 1, which is the same thing as negative 2. So we found a y-intercept. This is the y-value of our ordered pair. And the x-coordinate of any y-intercept is 0. So we have an x-intercept over here in red. We have a y-intercept over here in white. We have a vertical asymptote here in blue. And we have a horizontal asymptote over here in yellow. On this slide, we have all of the pertinent information that we had from the last slide, the vertical and horizontal asymptotes and the x and y intercepts. In order to graph this, I will first plot the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. So the first asymptote we have over here is the vertical asymptote at x equals 1. And that line looks something like this. And that is at x equals 1. And we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. And that looks something like this. And that's at y equals 1. And then we have some other information, the x and y intercepts. The x intercept is negative 2, 0. And the y intercept is 0, negative 2. And as we go along and work through this, uh, graphing this rational function, we are going to graph two different parts. We have this one vertical asymptote dividing our graph into a left part and a right part. Then we have this horizontal asymptote dividing our graph into a top part and a bottom part. So essentially we have four areas that we created by having our vertical asymptotes. 
So we need to have a branch of our graph on each side of our vertical asymptote. And that branch will either be above the horizontal asymptote or below the horizontal asymptote. And given the information that we have right here with our x and y intercepts, we know that this graph will be below the horizontal asymptote. So we can draw in a graph that looks something like this. So there's the first part of our graph. Now if we look to the right side of our vertical asymptote over here, we don't know if the graph is supposed to be above or below the horizontal. So what we need to do is we need to pick an x value that is over here to the right of our vertical asymptote. And you can pick any one you like. You can pick 2, 3, 4, 5, anything that's over there. And we have to substitute that back into the original function. So I'm going to pick 2. So we need to go back to the original function and find h of 2. In the original function, we take our input and we add it to 2 in the numerator and we subtract 1 from it in the denominator. Now that we have this information, we can see that this is 4 over 1, which is just 4. So when we input an x value of 2, we get back a y value of 4 giving us an ordered pair 2 comma 4. So when I come over here to the graph and plot that point, right 2 up 4, this tells us that our graph should be above the horizontal asymptote. So we'll just draw it getting really close to that vertical asymptote there, and we'll draw it getting really close to that horizontal asymptote there. And that is the graph of h of x equals x plus 2 over x minus 1.